So uh, we were operating out of a very small distillery in Brooklyn and we outgrew the space. And when we considered various locations within the United States to relocate to, uh, we considered like California, where our rice at the time was coming from, and um, Colorado, because the distilling laws are very friendly there. Um, but in the end, we decided to move our entire operation to Korea because we thought it would be very meaningful to use Korean agricultural products and uh, export our products to overseas. Because we make our products domestically, we felt that it could, we could create a casual cocktail bar, uh, very much like um, neighborhood bars in Brooklyn. And neighborhood bars in Brooklyn, they always have food and, you know, um, the interior is very much concrete and wood. And one of the interesting things about uh, this hotel that we're located in, which is Rise Hotel in Hongdae, um, they started out actually uh, selling concrete. So we felt that that kind of fit in very nicely as well. HSS, uh, it's, it's a very fascinating idea, right? Um, just because we are in a very analog business and we felt that, you know, bridging digital and the analog realm was very appealing to us. And one of the values that we think that we could give to HSS is that um, because we're a manufacturer of alcohol, we feel that we could create HSS branded alcohol. We have the capability to create all kinds. Um, our master distiller has previous experience even distilling brandy. And we currently create vodka, gin, soju, barrel-aged soju, all those product lines. Um, we could offer so much to HSS. So the vision um, that me and Leon talked about um, was that we wanted to create a very uh, comfortable yet luxurious space where HSS members could hang out. And one of the aspects that we are thinking is that instead of having a larger bar, uh, because we wanted to maximize comfort for our guests, uh, it'll be mostly like armchairs and sofas, and then uh, a bartender will bring a trolley and make the drink in front of you, right? Um, so that it's, it's more like kick back and relax kind of vibe, right? And then there's probably gonna be a pool table one of the things I think that is our strength, um, more than other perhaps like bar owners or bar operators, is that because we make our own alcohol, um, our costs are relatively very easily controlled. Therefore, we could spend all that into food, right? And so we will be offering, you know, kind of over the top quality food. Uh, just imagine like dry steak with like, or like a bunch of caviars, right? Uh, you know, all that repertoire of what you would not expect at a bar, but it'll be more closer to like fine dining experience without the stuffiness.